Hi and welcome to step 4 of our collab project Iran Sumarine, in which we will show you the outcome of our pre-production, meaning prototypes of the Iran Sumarine re-edition and the Sumarine limited series. I will also tell you about the improvements we will make towards final production. In step 3 we showed you 3D renders. We told you about the glass, which we had to change to sapphire in order to keep the looks of the original Sumerine. And we announced the reintroduction of the Fixaflex bracelet, which will be included with every watch. We also covered the Parmentier crown system and the improvements we wanted to implement. One of the things that stands out most about the Sumerine is of course the Parmentier crown. A cap to guarantee water resistance around the crown area. We improved the attachment system to make sure it won't fall off as easy as with the original watches. And we are happy to see it is indeed working. We also succeeded in making the watch water resistant without the crown cap on. For now we have achieved 30 meters of water resistance. But we are trying to improve even further towards final production. Finally we made some last minute technical changes. These resulted in the height of the watch with sapphire glass not getting 13.17 mm as advertised in step 3, but 12.77 mm. Let's take a closer look at the pre-production models. We have six references. Two of them are re-editions, meaning they have a black dial and 18 karat gold plated hands, just as the original Sumerine. The only difference between them is the second hand. One has the DNA strand second hand, the other has the French lollipop. The other four references are part of our so-called limited series. First, the deep blue dial with BGW9 loom and white painted hands on a matching blue rubber strap. Then the faded black dial with C3 loom and silver polished hands on a black strap. The loom came out a little more green than expected, but we decided to keep it this way. Third is the ocean green dial with light old radium loom and silver polished hands and again a matching strap. Last but not least we have the tropical dial again with light old radium loom and bronze colored hands on a black strap. Besides the FKM rubber strap each watch will be provided with a Fixaflex bracelet. The iconic watch band that sold over 100 million pieces. The one shown here is still an early pre-production sample. With the watch prototype finished we are currently perfecting the position of the bracelet and working out the end piece. Now the things that we are improving towards production. The bezel alignment should be better aligned. It should be 100% straight with the indexes when put towards the stop position. The teeth or notches in the cap are situated too deep, resulting in limited grip when placing the top of the crown cap on the crown. Although it's not really necessary to wind your watch this way, since it is an automatic movement, we want to stay true to the original, so it is still important for us that it works like we intended it. The 6 on the dial is not yet like we envisioned it in our design, so we are checking with our supplier. The minute hand on all watches is too long, so we will make it 0.5 mm shorter. That's it for this video. You are invited to check out the Sumerine in more written detail and photos on our website. And of course to pre-order your favorite one in our upcoming pre-order round. Also feel free to fire away in the comments and don't forget to register for one of our upcoming coffee catch-ups.